Adventure. Bust and Blackie. Enemy of those who make him an enemy. Friend of those who have no friends. Yes, sir. That's Boston Blackie, and he's quite a guy. Come on, boy. We men got to stick together in a spot like this. Oh, you coward. Hi, you're right on time. Oh, you know me, Mary. Always the optimist. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. There's someone inside I want you to meet. A girl. I suppose she's a very special friend of yours with a very special problem. As a matter of fact, you're right. Oh, no. Look, Mary, don't you ever meet any nice, normal people who aren't in a jam? Blackie, are you fighting me? Yes, I'm fighting him. Good, come on. Oh, Anne. Anne, this is Boston Blackie. Anne Morgan Blackie. How do you do? How do you do? I hope you can help Anne Blackie. She's one of my favorite people. Tell him what you told me, Anne. This is one of those married situations, Blackie. My ex-husband is giving me a bad time. Frankly, he's got me scared. He calls her on the phone all the time, Blackie, threatening her. And he hangs around where she lives. Last night, he was carrying a gun. Police can stop that. Oh, I can't go to the police. Don't you see, I somehow feel responsible for him. Maybe if I tried harder to keep our marriage together, he would... Knowing you, Anne, you must have done your best. The time I thought I did. But he's not the strongest man in the world. He needs help, a lot of it. And what would you like me to do? Well, Blackie, we thought if you'd see him and talk to him. He works for a salvage company out of the edge of town. It just doesn't add up. In what way? He's got too much money and too much time on his hands. Well, that could be a very dangerous combination, especially if he's carrying a gun. What's his name? Barry Morgan. And he works for a man called Ed Miller. OK. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Blackie. I hope sometime I can return the favor. You can. Stop making her so beautiful. I might propose again. Go to work, Ann. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for a Barry Morgan. He ain't here. You know where I can find him? Well, he usually hangs out in the lunchroom on the corner. Thanks. Hey, uh, you know what these things are? No. I guess I'll never find out. I've been wrapping them for two weeks. Barry Morgan? I said, are you Barry Morgan? I heard you. The girl I know says you have too much money and too much time on your hands. She forgot to mention that you had too few manners. What's it to you? Look, can't we put this on a more friendly basis? You're Barry Morgan? I'm Boston Blank. I know who you are. Ann told me you'd be out. What do you want? For a start, you can take that chip off your shoulder so we can talk. I got nothing to say to you. Fair enough. Don't say anything. Just listen. I told Ann I'd come down here and have a talk to you. All right, you talked. Not enough. I didn't say what I wanted to say. Look, we got off on the wrong foot, so let it go at that. Now, if you resent Ann talking to me about you, you shouldn't. I've heard the words. How about the music? Ann is concerned. Personally, I'd say she has every right to be. I don't know anything about you, but I've been around enough to have seen dozens who weren't any different. You can see them, too, on Visitor's Day at San Quentin. Take a walk, Blackie. Peddle it somewhere else. I know, it's the old story. 
You saw a chance to make more money than you ever had in your hands before, a shortcut. Believe me, Barry, those shortcuts only head in one direction, all of them. You like talking to yourself? Well, maybe there was a little glamour thrown in, too. Brackets, big money, guns. More exciting than 40 bucks a week behind the counter or breaking your back loading a truck. There's only one thing wrong with it, Barry. It's a past. There's no future. Look, mister, take a walk. I told you before. This time, I mean it. You're acting just like every other two-bit punk who ever wound up on a police blotter. Don't call me a two-bit punk. Sit down. Listen some more. If you don't want to do anything to help yourself, the least you can do is give Anna a break. I don't know you two kids, but she looks like a pretty... Hey, Anna. Doesn't look too bad, but you better call an ambulance. Call the police, too. And I'm afraid I'll let you down. I go out and have a talk with Barry and try to straighten him out, wind up being responsible for his being in jail. Oh, you certainly can't blame yourself for that, Blackie. I'm sorry I can't let you speak with your husband, miss. What happened? He's out on bond. Vincent Armstead appeared for him almost before the kid was booked for assault. Well, he's the most expensive criminal lawyer in town. How can you afford to hire him and get him out here at 7 o'clock in the morning? The boy has connections. Bail was put up by Eddie Miller. That's Barry's boss. And what about Miller? Well, he's supposed to be a salvage dealer. Supposed to be? Well, we don't know for sure, but sometimes things are salvaged without the consent and knowledge of the owner. What the inspector means is he suspects Miller is being a fence for a gang of car strippers. Car strippers, trucks, construction machinery, anything that isn't bolted down. But if you suspect this, how can Miller continue to operate? He's a clever guy. He does enough legitimate business to cover the other. We can't make him account for every hubcap and engine block in his warehouse. See, that's where Barry and his gun fit into the picture. He's their muscle man. Sooner or later, we'll nail Mr. Miller. It takes time to build a case against men like that. What happens to Barry in the meantime? Well, if he follows the pattern, he gets in deeper and deeper. He now has an assault case over his head. Don't worry, Ann. Blackie will think of something. Won't you? Oh, oh, don't look at me. I tried and I struck out. Look, I'm no good for the kid. If it wasn't for me, I, I, he probably wouldn't be up on an assault charge. I'm not running a reform school, and even if I was, I wouldn't want a Barry Morgan. Well, you... you think I should? What I think isn't important. What do you think? Okay, I'll leave it up to Whitey. What do you think? Now, stop acting as if you were my conscience. All right, I'll go see Miller. Maybe I can help him. Hey, Blackie. That was an interesting debate you had with you. <laughs> I tell you, it wasn't my fault. Blackie started it. What do you want me to do, get pushed around? Anytime Boston Blackie wants to push you around, get pushed. I ain't gonna Stand let it up. Vic, I'll handle this. You go outside for a little while, will you? You just stopped out in front. Very better go out the back way. Oh, hello, Blackie. I've been wanting to meet you. Sit down. You Eddie Miller? Have a care. No, thanks. Uh, good for the eyes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can't afford to take no chances. <laughs> Bad luck. I see what you mean. I want to talk to you about Barry Morgan. I'm worried about that boy. These youngsters today, they're different than when I was a kid. When I was a boy, when I was 14 years old, I had my own junk cart. Married when I was 18. <laughs> Here. 
my wife and kids. Been married 34 years. Fine family. Uh, Vic, uh, sit down. You make Blackie nervous. Oh, well, pass them around. Ain't you got no manners? Think... What about Barry Morgan? Uh, you know, why should a boy like that carry a gun? Oh, I could guess. I take him in here and give him a job. No, 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 no. Not three on a match. That's bad luck. Uh, after all, I... I'm just a small businessman, but I need a helper now and then, you know. I can understand that. I like the boy. Sure, he's wild, but he's straightened out after a while if he follows my example. 34 years I've been married. I don't like to brag about my family, but three daughters I got. And if they'd ever miss going to church on Sunday, I'd tan them. Somehow that doesn't send me. I don't understand you. All I did was take the boy in and give him a job. You said that. Now look, I'm interested in Barry. And I wouldn't like to see the boy get into any more trouble. Well, I certainly hope he don't. I want to find him and tell him so. Fine, you do that. We'll probably see each other again. I like family men, and I like visiting with them. Especially when their boys carry guns and get into shooting scrapes. Uh, Blackie, uh, you got me all wrong. It could be. I'll check on it. Look at all the vegetables I eat, and you've got more energy than I have. Pacing back and forth all day. What you gonna do about Blackie? I got a theory. It's better to get slapped than it is to get kicked in the head. What does that mean? Blackie, just slap me. If I slap back, I'll get kicked in the head. You gonna have him snoop around? You talk like you got rocks in your head. Blackie ain't interested in me. He's worried about the kid. So cut the kid loose. We don't need him. There's a hundred other guys. Huh. Supposing the kid gets mad and starts to talk. I'll shut up his mouth for him. And it's better to shut his mouth before he opens it. You know, these onions, they're not as good as they used to be. Hi, Inspector. I understand you want to see me. Yeah. The case against Barry Morgan is off the books. His body was found on Malibu Canyon Road. Shot? No, nothing so crude. It's on the books as a hit and run. You believe it? Any reason why I shouldn't? Could be a coincidence. I don't like coincidences. Not when people are killed by them. Well, the records say he was hit by a car. Well, what are you doing about it? The usual thing. We're out looking for the car that did it. Have you looked in Miller's garage? We weren't born yesterday, and neither was Miller. But if we find that car, I'll give you odds that it was stolen for the sole purpose of knocking off Morgan. What about Miller? You can't get a case against a man without evidence. Yeah. How do you get evidence on a church-going family man who shudders at the mere thought of violence? If I knew that, I wouldn't be sitting here. Look, there must be some way out of this. What do we know about Miller? I mean about Miller himself. What are his weaknesses? Well, on the surface, he's just another junk dealer. Can't arrest a man for that. Nor for the fact that he eats meals that are good for his eyes. He's superstitious. I don't remember a law against that in the statute books either. Somebody's got the goods on Miller. And it's Miller himself. Now, if we can't get the evidence, we'll make Miller get the evidence for us. And what do you propose doing about that? I said he was superstitious. good at this sort of thing. I think you should tell her. Blackie, well, yeah, I couldn't go in there and tell her Barry was killed. Somebody has to tell her before she reads it in the newspaper. Anne, we, uh... You don't have to tell me. I heard what you said. It was an accident, Anne. We think it was an accident, Anne. We're not sure. We've got some ideas. We'll need your help. All right. I'd like to have a picture of Barry.
Hiya, Greg. I came to see you because I know you're the top talent man in town. I'm sorry, Blackie, I'm broke. <laughs> Seriously, I need your help. I want to hire an actor. Now, don't tell me you're going to produce a picture. No, I'm going to produce a murderer. I don't get you. Well, I want to find an actor who's a physical double of a dead man. Now, uh, we can use makeup to make him look like the man I have in mind. This may be dangerous, but I'll give him all the protection I can. Well, I guess it's possible. We've certainly got enough actors in town. Tall, short, fat, lean. We ought to be able to find one we can make up to look like anybody. That's the man I want. Now, here's a picture of Barry Morgan. He was killed last night. <laughs> Well, what do you think? It's impossible. But I'll do it. Of course, you know this might be dangerous. I think I'll enjoy it. I just want you to know what you're letting yourself in for. He'll be guarded at all times, but you never can tell what a killer might do. Don't worry. I always wanted to play cops and robbers anyway. Okay. It's a deal. Do I go to work? You do. Thanks for coming down. I am just stand here and tell us when he begins to look like Barry. Barry. Barry up. Perfect. I've done better. You said you killed him. Who, Barry? Sure I killed him. You did. You said you did. Don't just sit there. Tell me you killed Barry Morgan. You know it. You, you didn't make no mistakes. Man, I make them kind of mistakes. No. No, you don't. Hey, what's the matter with you? Jim's lunch counter. Go on over there. What for? Do as I tell you. Go on over there, take a look at the guy behind the counter, and then come on back. The guy behind the counter. Sure, I saw him. And it's me. You wait in the office. I'll be at home if anything turns up. So watch where you're going.
Morgan. Barry Morgan. Everywhere I look, I see Barry Morgan. Boss, you must be going crazy. I'm crazy. I know what'll cure me. I tell you, there he is again. Stop that gun. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I, I, I forgot the rest. <laughs> 